if they're including the uh, yes. NAFS Cup preview, and we're going to cross very shortly to Brendan Sanderson and also Matthew. Patrick Dangerfield. Bernard Vince, one of our favourites, Jim, uh, found himself in a little bit of uh, strife uh, over the last couple yes. of days. I think caught with his pants off and yes. getting around in his boxer shorts wasn't all that appreciated. No. And whilst we love Bernie, wouldn't have thought it went down that well with uh, uh, the new coach, Brendan Sanderson. And Bernie Vince, we caught up with him tonight. Yeah, it's obviously very embarrassing, the, you know, the, the thing that happened on the weekend. So it's something you... Uh, you think about and you think you think back after the you know after it's all happened and you you're pretty embarrassed about the whole thing. But if there's anything that comes out from now on, I'm I'm going to be pretty harshly dealt with. So um, I'm just going to have to get, at the end of the day it comes down to me and uh, I've got to look after myself. Yeah, putting a stamp on it. Thank Tommy Wren over there in Adelaide who grabbed that for us for uh, Channel 9 News, so very nice work. And while we're in Adelaide, Gary, why don't we stay there because it's time to talk NAB Cup Grand Final. Adelaide oh. are playing the West Coast Eagles. Brand new up here. Brand new coach of the Adelaide Crows and uh, Jimmy knows all about him. Of course, spent a lot of time at Catland is Brenton Sanderson. We're going to his house in Glenelg. With him is Paddy Dangerfield, one of the superstars for the Adelaide Crows. Hello, boys. Good evening, hi, good boys. Sando, we might just start with you. We've got a little delay on the uh, on the link here, but uh, this coaching cape is nice and easy. Uh, not really. I mean, it's been a long summer, and uh, I mean, we've had a great a great summer. Um, but thankfully, the games aren't too far away, you know. And we're uh, we've had a good start to the NAB Cup campaign, uh, campaign, which is uh, a fantastic lead into the regular season. But um, yeah, so far, uh, four wins, and um, yeah, things are rolling along quite nicely. So when you sit down, um, Sando, and you're mapping out your NAB Cup, different sides, I guess, different uh, stages of their preparation, what was your goal? I mean, was it to get as far as you can, or was it to, to try and win, but also expose your young list to, to some senior footy? No, exactly that. I mean, we had some goals that we sort of set out, and we tried to expose as many of our younger players as we could to uh, some AFL experience, and we, we've achieved that. We played uh, 38 different players through the first four games, uh, we've got a full squad to pick from, though, which is um, a fantastic position to be in as a senior coach, having, uh, having a full squad. Uh, only Rutten and Douglas won't play or weren't available for selection this week. So I think you're halfway there when you've got a full squad and they're fit and they're firing and they're ready to play. So uh, from that, a really big tick. And, um, I mean, we're playing some pretty good footy too. So I guess we're in a good position to start the uh, season off. And, Britton, you've got uh, your centre-half back and your full-back. Uh, Sam Shaw's playing at centre-half back for the Crows uh, in his first game. And also Talia, between them, they played nine games. Is that a scenario you could go into for round one uh, of, the op of the AFL season? Yeah, it could be. I mean, we're, we're really confident that uh, Rutten's going to be fit and ready to play. But at the same time, um, we've got uh, 15 players with less than 50 games experience playing in our uh, grand final side this weekend. So that's... That's, uh, that's a very inexperienced team, but for me, that's really exciting. I know there's some big upside in us, and we're still going to improve, and that's our goal this year, is to just show continual improvement throughout the season. And, Paddy, we need to speak oh, to you. The wow. very nice shag going there, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk to you about the midfield, where you're starting to roll through there beautifully. Uh, you're coming up against a very good midfield in the West Coast Eagles. Shuey and Gaff will go through there. Prentice we know all about, and Kerr and Cox and Nat and Huey. So you're going to have your work cut out. Yeah, it'll certainly be a really good challenge for the boys this week. Uh, we, we played a pretty experienced midfield uh, group last week in, in Collingwood's outfit, but certainly with the way that West Coast have been playing, uh, the experience we've got through there, it's going to be a big challenge for us and something that we're, we're certainly looking forward to. Sando, um, much has been made of the Crows bulking up this year. Are you still the biggest man at the Crows? <laughs> 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 I yeah. thought Jimmy might answer, answer that question. But, yes. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it is, it is something that we have tried to really work on. I know, I mean, our goal is to pre prepare a side that, that can play consistent finals football. And um, I guess my philosophy is that our boys needed to be a bit stronger. And coming from that Geelong model where, you know, you have to play hard, contested footy. And, um, yeah, we've put two or three kilos on most of the players uh, over the summer months. And, I think it's showing in our footy too, you know, where um, our contested ball numbers are up and we seem to be winning more contests. So uh, that's a big improvement. But, um, yeah, there's not enough room in the gym for me anymore, Jimbo, <laughs> unfortunately. Once you get in a grand final order, you want to win them. So why don't you take us through these two teams? Yeah, the first side we've got here is the Adelaide Crows. Uh... <laughs> and what a nap cup that they've had, uh, kicking 138 points last week against Collingwood. And I think Walker, Tippett... 
Paul Pleasure, great to have him back. And uh, their emergencies are actually Lynch and Kerridge and Gents, who have all had great NAB Cup series. So it shows how strong the uh, Adelaide Crows are looking. And a lot of great youth coming through, as I said, in Talia and Shaw. Uh, and the midfield looks like a lot of depth. And the West Coast Eagles... The most impressive side of the NAB Cup series, and uh, as I said, Shuey's an emergency this week, so uh, just shows how well they're going. Nat Nui Cox, the best ruck combination in the game, and uh, Darren Glass back at fullback, who makes them a different side as well, Gaz. So, yeah, they're looking very ominous this season. Patrick, what can you tell us? What's been the biggest change? New coach, you've had Neil Craig been there for uh, quite some time. What's been the biggest change that Sandoz brought into the Adelaide side? Uh, I think he's brought a real freshness to the group. Obviously, he's a little bit younger than Craigie, but certainly the freshness that he's brought to the group, uh, I suppose the enthusiasm he brings, and we've, you know, we've tinkered with our game style, and we're, we're playing a lot of attacking footy, uh, certainly working on our defence and defending first, but I think just the way that we're attacking games now is a little bit different to how we've done it previously, but I think more than anything, it's just that freshness that he brings to the group, and, and I, I think uh, players are certainly... You know, excited about playing under Sando, which is a, a really good thing. And Sando, with our great friend Bernard Vince, what were you more concerned with? The fact that he was having a beer or sitting around in a group of circle uh, with his boxer shorts on? <laughs> oh, no, it was, a, it, was a, it was a minor discretion from Bernie and it was disappointing, you know, leading into an important game for us. But, you know, we've dealt with it and we're trying to move on. And um, Bernie's got one of those great personalities, you know, and everybody just loves him, but he... He just makes these little uh, mistakes that just continue to pile up. But, uh, he, I mean, we, we only could hear the vision before, but he's right. He's got to change his behaviours. Um, he's old enough now to make uh, the correct decision. So, you know, we'll work pretty hard behind the scenes to assist him with that. But um, he's an outstanding player. He's, he's a great talent. So um, if he can put it all together, he's going to be a, a really dangerous uh, weapon for us this year. No doubt about that. Let's get some tips, boys. Murph, what do you think is happening here? Yeah, I think the, uh, the Eagles will win. I think uh, Andrew Embley will be, will be best on. Had a, a team high 33 disposals last time these two teams met. And I think he'll be, uh, be a big shot to uh, take the medal out. Jimmy? Yeah, I think the Crows will win at home. I think they're playing some great attacking football. They kicked a massive score last week. It's good to see Ian Cullen, another mature age um, draft pick, going well. And I think uh, Bernie Vince will bounce back and win the medal. Centre bet odds there, by the way. See Adelaide dollar eighty three, West Coast dollar ninety seven. Tight betting game, Samuel. Well, I think fear is the great panacea in life, uh, Gary. And uh, if Brenton doesn't succeed, they'll run him out of town <laughs> within a minute. And I think uh, he'll gird his loins and he'll, even if he has to take the field himself, uh, he will uh, make sure that that side wins or he'll be gone before they even start the season. I like West Coast through the season, but I think they're still trialling players, getting minutes in the players. So I think uh, Adelaide at home as well. Yeah, uh, I like the Adelaide Crows as well. Uh, it's a busy time of year. We really appreciate you two boys joining us. Brenton Sanderson, new coach of Adelaide Crows. Paddy Dangerfield, genuine star of the competition. Good luck on uh, Saturday night, boys, and good luck for the rest of the year. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.